Hey all, it's Shelly. Today I want to show you something that might just look like magic. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I got this effect right over here in the intro, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I need to do is show you my screen. All right, we are in Ecamm right now, and this is my setup, so I'm going to be showing you how I was able to achieve the look that you guys saw. So the first thing we need to do is recognize that we are going to fire up a Keynote project. Yes, you heard me right. As I've always said before, the magic is in Keynote. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new Keynote project. And so then you'll be able to select a theme. It doesn't really matter what you pick. Just select one. Then you're going to select everything that's on the screen and you are going to delete it. So you can actually just hold it once and then you can hit delete you can do that for everything that's on the screen and now you have a blank item just by itself now the next thing that we need to do is we are going to change this to a green or a blue to do that we are going to click up at the top at the paintbrush icon so we are going to on the background select a color and we're going to select a green color all right, that looks good there. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that the settings for the slide are set to 16 by 9. You just want to make sure. So again, we'll go back up to those triple dots. And then we're going to make sure on the, oh, hopefully you're going to be able to see it here. This is going to be under document setup. So along the bottom, you're going to see themes and then you're going to see slide size right here. So we're going to make sure that we select that. And then your aspect ratio here needs to be in 16 by 9. And keep in mind, this is also where you would change this if you were going to do the hack like I've shown you before, insert a video and export or something with a green screen. This is also the same place where you do that. So we're good to go with 16 by 9. All right, and we're going to hit done. So this is perfect. Now that we have our slides, another thing that you can do is hold on to one of those uh, slides that's up in the upper left hand corner in the list and just duplicate it. And the reason why you want to do this is because instead of having one basically a race board or whiteboard that you would be, you know, drawing on and erasing, if you have multiples already set up, then you can actually cycle through. The cool thing is you can do this for more than just handwriting. You could add in photos. You can slide through an entire slideshow. You can do kinds of like animations. It's actually really cool, but we are just going into the handwriting demo that I promised you who were here for my live stream. So I have an Apple Pencil with my iPad here. So the thing that we're going to do over here, if you see it, we're going to hit the plus button in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to insert a drawing. That way you can use your iPad Pencil for whatever you need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit drawing. Now, this is where you could come in and um, select, I'm going to move myself here because there's one thing that you need to be able to see here. In this lower corner is going to be like the color marker. So one thing you can do is you can select it and then you can change out the color. So I was drawing in white because a lot of the time I find that that works best. So I'm going to change that here and I'm gonna bring it down. Now you wanna make sure, you can select anywhere and it will just kind of hide that menu. You wanna make sure that a lot of these things are already set before you go into any kind of presentation because it will show everything that's coming up, all of the menus on screen. So you want to have things set, otherwise people will be really confused by what's going on on your screen. Okay, so now that we have this, you're gonna be able to say something like, hello, right? And then also, if you did not know, you can set up your Apple Pencil so you can double tap on it. It's going to usually change to an eraser. Now you can see there in the bottom. And then you're going to be able to delete or erase as you see on the screen. So that can also come in really handy if you want to. Oh, you, you know, you drew and you messed up something. You want to erase it. You can just double tap and do that. And then you double tap again and then the pencil comes back. Now in there, you'll also see there are different colors. So you could select, you know, a crayon. If you wanted to draw, you can do a highlight if you want to do something like that. But for right now, we're just doing the white writing. Okay. So another thing that you've got going on here, let me show you. Let's see, how can I best show you here? So now I'm going to show you everything on my screen. Now what's interesting about this, okay, is 
I'm gonna show you my screen over here where it says, I call it the chalkboard. So I'm gonna show you where I switch to this and the chalkboard so that I can say hello right here. Okay, but there's something special that I want to show you over here. Remember when I clicked on the color and I wanted to do that and I push on the screen, you can't see it right now, right? Because that color palette and everything is actually hidden. And the way that I did that is I came over here to the camera effects. So I have my iPad hooked into the back of my computer. So I was able to add it as an overlay. So if you see that it's an overlay here, and I'm kind of trying to mess with it so you can see um, where it is selected right over here on the iPad. If I were to, there you go, show you everything that's on the iPad, right? And add it again. Now you can see all of those menus and items on the bottom, but that doesn't look very good. You don't want that, right? I'm gonna take this off real quick. So I wanna show you what it looks like. All right, so the reason why you don't see all of that stuff is if you come over here after I've added the iPad and then over here, see in the camera effects, I go and under this option here, I say that we're gonna apply a green screen. Now, this could also work if you do a blue background. So it's either green or blue. So there may be reasons why you wanna do that. Maybe you're wearing a lot of blue, green. You could do one of each, doesn't matter. Or maybe it's, you know, indifferent from what you're writing. Um, there are times when you would wanna do one versus the other. So you can come in here, you select the green screen. Here, I wanna show you. There you go. And then you're gonna hit the fade level. So sometimes you may see some weird feathering and such, so you can play with the levels here. And then I select it so it's transparent. So you can see me and it. And then what I did here, this is important, on the zoom and pan, I selected this. And then you can see as much of my screen here along with that, that color palette down here, right? But the reason you don't see it is because I actually zoomed in on the screen so you don't see everything. So here's where it would be if you saw everything. And actually, I did it so that when you stretch it, you won't see those menus. So I could still come in here and change colors, change to a crayon, anything like that. And you're not going to be able to see that because it's underneath the portion where I've zoomed in. Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind is as you're going through different tools, if you select it and hold it, you'll then be able to have the thickness of your stroke be changed here and also the opacity. So if you wanna make sure that it's like super skinny, you can do that, but I don't think it shows up as well. So I like to go back and make sure that it's it's on one of the thicker ones, that way you can actually see it show up. So just as a keep that in mind, when you go through, you're going to be able to select how much, um, hopefully, oh yeah, you can't see that one because it's green. Well, there you go, it makes sense. <laughs> but um, you can change colors and you can change how thick lines are. So keep that in mind as well. Now let me show you one other thing here. Not this one, but I'm gonna zoom out for a second so you guys can see what's going on on the keynote presentation here. All right, so now you can see all the menu, right? Now you can see why you probably wouldn't want to show this and you'd zoom in on the window. But I just want to show you guys a cool trick real quick since I got you here. If you select this one here on the very far right before you get to your color palette, you can actually use it to select an entire object and then you could actually move that object around on the screen or add an animation to it, you know, make it dance, make it, you know, catch on fire, whatever you want to do, which I think is a really cool trick. So press it again, it doesn't have it highlighted anymore and select it as an object. And the reason that is cool, let me show you guys the presentation real quick. So I'm gonna show you as an example real fast. So I did this and I was able to animate them. Hopefully you can see it. Simply by first drawing on the screen, then selecting the object, then animating the object, which is all available in the option. So we won't go through it right now. If you want that video, make sure you comment something and we will do that. But that's how easy it is. 
Now this would also work if you had another Mac computer, let's say, and you wanted to do a screen sharing to Ecamm and bring it in as a source. I'm using my iPad because I can just use it with a USB cable and use my Apple Pencil. You could probably do this with an iPhone if you were playing back the keynote presentation and using that as an overlay and then using your finger to draw, it probably wouldn't look as nice, but you could do that as well. I know we went through it fairly quickly. If you have questions, make sure you drop them below. And if you wanna see additional things that you could do using this technique, make sure you drop a comment. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me. I'll see you in a video very soon.